Well, Women in Film and TV started originally in America, where so many things start. And there was a woman in America who decided to come back to the UK. And she thought, why is there not an organisation for women here? I was set up, because that's what women do. So 27 years ago, she called together a group of women to have lunch. And from there, it just grew and expanded. At that time, they were quite, um, they were high flyers, the women who were involved. And what they were trying to do was get 50-50 on boards and have a, a networking structure for women that was going to be something that would help them all professionally and socially. And at that time, people were saying, well, why do we need a, a special thing for women? You know, why don't we need a special thing for men to network? And the answer was, oh, but there is a special place for men to network. It's called the industry. I mean, when you think back in the film industry, when it started out, it was very much on an amateur basis. And the people who were making all the films were women. They were making the very first narrative films ever. And it was only whenever Hollywood started and films were seen as a business, the film business then click. That's where men started to take over and the, the women who had been producing then became the script girls, the secretaries, the casting people and so forth. Um, and I think that's a big cultural thing about women being seen as the nurturers and looking after everybody, but the men making the decisions and the men being in charge of the money. And it's something that has been a culture that's developed over a very long time. And it is now beginning to change, but it's quite shocking to me that it's taken so long. We've never had a woman director general of the BBC. That would be understandable if a quarter of the population were women. But the majority of the population are women. And we've got all these women now, more women coming through university. I think um, a lot of our, if you look in television, a lot of the great war correspondents are women, from Kate Eddy to Lise Doucette and all the rest of it. When women are given the chance, they are absolutely fantastic. Now, until recently, women weren't allowed to fight on the front line of battle. And yet people like Kate Eddy and Lise Doucette and all the others, they were right in there in the middle. We have to say to ourselves, yes, go for it, because it won't happen to you, you have to make it happen and, you know, be as ambitious as you can. Um, you know, there are lots of women doing amazing jobs and one of the things that we do here is we try to bring them in to talk to people about it. Um, and now, I think, I don't actually want to put people off. I think this is one of the best businesses in the world and the best thing that you could possibly do, but you have to actually not just um, go with the flow and allow things to happen. You really have to be quite focused. As if your life's a story and you're going to do a summary of where you want to go. And, and there are always people who will help, you know. There are always people who've been there before you. And, you know, if you go to them, offer them a coffee or whatever and have a chat. And then, in turn, you must do that too. Because that's the only way it's going to work.